Eifto. Blond, 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 blond. Eifto. My name's Coogan Cassius, this is iFilm London. With me I've got WBO light heavyweight champion Nathan Cleverly with me. We've waited a long time for Tony Berry to turn up today, he finally has, um, head to head. Um, part of you wanted to have a row in there and then or not? Um, well, if it, ideally, the ideal situation would be if the boxing ring was set up here today, that would be good. That would be good, I'd love that. So we'd get it on now and um, you know, sort our differences out now. But. October the 15th it is, that's the date set and uh, looking forward to it. Came on with an Everton shirt on with uh, and the new one yeah. on the back, what do you think of that? <laughs> that's what I thought of it, I just laughed at it, you know, it's, it's, it's what these guys, this is what they do to talk themselves into the fight, you know, this, the, he's, he's obviously the last press conference, um, he's got what he wanted, you know, he, he wanted his lottery ticket fight. And in all fairness to him, he's he's got it. But I'm the one who gave him the opportunity. I've I've decided to to let this fight go ahead. Um, it's 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 going up. It's going ahead in Liverpool. Um, but I'm the one who's 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 allowing that to happen because at the end of the day, it's a boxing ring. It's just going to be me and Tony Bellew in that ring, and he's going to see what it what it takes to be a true world champion. I know there's obviously a lot of genuine rivalry between the pair of you, but how difficult a fight is this going to be, regardless of all the talk? How difficult in your head is this a fight going to be? Um, you know, he could pose a different threat. He, apparently, he's, you know, he's a, he's a big, big puncher, um, so he can be he can be dangerous, and uh, he's hungry. You know, he's got desire, so he, you know this this could be tricky. But I've taken the fight because I know. That if I want to be world champion, I've got to beat these guys. There's no doubt about that. I've got, to, I've got to beat Tony Bellew, you know, with, and I've got to look good beating these guys. Otherwise, there's no point in me being world champion. So I'm prepared to take the fight on against these so-called dangerous guys, and uh, and win. Frank Warren announced in the press conference before Tony was here that if Bernard Hopkins was to win the fight against Chad Dawson on the same night, that the winner of you and Tony would go on to face. Bernard Hopkins, you said it was a dream come true. Um, how do you feel about that? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a great situation to, to find myself in, really. Um, obviously, it's, it's, it's a lot more on this fight than what than what than just the, the win itself. I win, I win this, and there's a massive, massive fight uh, for the future with with a legend like Hopkins. So that's been talked of. Um, but obviously we've got to get this guy out the way first. Um, he's an obstacle in my way, but that's the reason I took the fight, because I want to get him out the way. I want to get this guy out the way and uh, move on to bigger guys then. It's a fight that the British public have well, craved for the last few months since you two nearly come to blows at the um, the Gal Groves press conference along with you and Tony. So it's a fight that's been in the happening for a while. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, the rivalry has been steadily brewing. Um, Two light heavyweights, um, the press conference, the grudge, the fight. You know, we was both fired up in that press conference, and a lot of people want to see the fight. So, obviously, the fans want to see it. So I've I've said, let's go ahead and do it. You know, if if that's the fight they want, then you know I've got no issue with that because I, if like I said, if I want to be a world champion, I've got to be prepared to to beat whoever's in front of me and. I'll uh, I'll stand by my word. And just uh, finally, what did you make of the recent signing of George Groves to the Frank Warren promotion stable? Yeah, it's a good signing. Obviously, you know, exceptional talent, um, and um, he's obviously in the same stable now as uh, as, as James James De Gale. So yeah, it's, you know, definitely interesting. And um, no, it's you know, it's welcome into the welcome into the stable. All right, well, Nathan, thank you very much for talking to I from London, and uh, wish you the best with the defence of your belt on October the fifteenth. Thank you very much. I feel blonde, blonde, blonde. I feel blonde, blonde, blonde.